Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. You know, I'm about to go in here and do my uh, quick 30-minute workout. I'm going to just, you know, lift weights and do some sit-ups and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, um, ever since I started my channel and started doing boxing videos all the way up to where I started covering boxing, even though I'm a black man and I do root for black fighters and I'm not ever going to be made to feel ashamed about that. But if the black fighter happens to lose, I always try to give the other fighter his just due for the most part. Now I know we have fighters that we favor over other guys. But there's this ongoing thing that you see it on a regular basis where no matter who the fighter is, they will do anything to discredit the fighter, especially if he is black. What I saw with Devin Haney, his uh, post fight treatment with Jorge Lenores was despicable and it was disgusting. And now I know what people meant when they said it was too many blacks at Devin Haney's fight. And I'm going to talk about that as well as I talked about it on my stream. You know, we are a couple of weeks removed from, or almost a couple of weeks removed from the great fight between Josh Taylor and Jose Ramirez. And shout out to Jose Ramirez and his family. Great people, good people. And one thing about Jose Ramirez, like I said before, Jose Ramirez has never turned me down for an interview. Every time I ask for an interview, he's giving me an interview. Same thing with Leo Santa Cruz. Shout out to Leo Santa Cruz. And I didn't, you know, when Leo Santa Cruz got brutally knocked out by a Tank, I didn't make fun of him. I knew it was going to happen, but I didn't put Leo Santa Cruz down. You know, and when Jose Ramirez was defeated by Josh Taylor in a very competitive, good fight. I said, Jose Ramirez is a warrior. I said, he'll bounce back and he's going to continue to have a great career as a fighter. I didn't shit on him. I didn't hate on him. I didn't put him down. Gave him his props. You would think people would have that same sentiment when it comes to us, but they don't. Whether a black fighter wins or lose, people will find something wrong with him. And don't come on here and say, hey, town, don't make this about race. Fuck you. You've always made this about race. Okay? And you make these fighters look bad when you do what you do to black fighters. And like I said before, the Garcias is really starting to show who they are. And I'm really starting to see that they are anti-black, period. Like I said, don't you dare come on here and tell me, hey, don't make this about race. You know, it isn't about race. Yeah, you, you better go take that Jamel Chalo shit somewhere else. Like I said, the only reason why y'all like him is because he sitting up here, you know what I'm saying, on the, uh, you know, tap dancing. Because y'all can't stand Jamil Chalo. Y'all always trying to discredit that dude. But he's sitting up here sucking up to Canelo, a dude that then disrespected him and, and basically said he wasn't worthy of fighting. Who he been begging to fight, him and his brother. But then this dude constantly loves to piss and shit on black fighters, his own. Like I said, I'm, I'm sick of this. Like I said, this criticism towards Devin Haney is just disgusting. How come Devin Haney isn't a warrior? How come he didn't prevail? Like I said, people will always find something wrong with a black fighter. And Bill, when you hear this video, you should, I can't tell you what to do. You should seriously consider who you're going to do interviews with from now on. Because like I said, these are the same people that have talked this shit 
put down Devin Haney, attack Devin Haney, demean him, de demean black people, demean black fighters. But then when they see Devin Haney, hey, can I take a picture? Hey, can I have an autograph? Phonies! And then people sitting up there saying, man, it was too many black people at Devin Haney versus George Lenores. Let me tell you what that, that mean. Let me decode that. Basically what the Hispanics was saying, they was outnumbered by the blacks. So basically they couldn't pull none of their racist bullshit and start talking out the side of their neck because they was outnumbered like maybe four to one. And basically they would have got their asses whooped if they would have tried to start talking slick. And that's what they really meant. That's what they meant. That's what they meant. So, because I kept wondering, what is that supposed to mean? Because I started seeing all kind of, uh, you, you, you know, I started seeing all kind of labels and comments about, oh, it was a whole bunch of black people there. It was too many black people. I thought we don't support our fighters. Isn't that what we were supposed to do? Go support Devin Haney? And I promise you the next fight, it's going to be even more of us there. But that's what I'm talking about. They will find something wrong. They love to tear down black fighters. Devin Haney ain't getting that, no props. Oh, he got date. Oh, he got exposed. He got exposed. Oh, he was holding too much. Never mind Lenars was holding and, and rabbit punching. Never mind what he did. Oh, Devin Haney got a weak chin. But Lomacheco was the one that got put on his ass. You know, at the end of the day, everybody gets touched in a fight. It's going to happen. It's how you react. I didn't see Errol Spence buzz, Terrence Crawford, Oscar De La Hoya, Mandy Pacquiao, Keith Thurman. Everybody's been buzzed. But you don't, but you say they took it. But you say Devin ain't got no chance. You say Devin, like, like I said before, and then was booing Devin Haney. What did Devin Haney do to get booed? And don't come with that shit about, oh, well, you know, I didn't like what he said about he will never lose to a white boy and all that. Why do you care? You're not white. But you didn't have that, that same energy towards Pauli Malignaggi when he was saying suspect shit. You didn't have that same energy towards Sergey Kovalev. You guys wasn't calling out Michael Montero, who constantly was saying racist shit and putting up ra racist innuendos about black fighters. So why do you wh why do you care what Devin says about a white person? Oh, yeah, because y'all are fake. A lot of y'all are fake and y'all wish y'all were white. But like I said, at the end of the day, you guys always show who you really are. You're just different forms of the KKK the neo-Nazis, et cetera, et cetera. Except you happen not to be white. You may be Asian. You may be some other form of non-black. You may be Hispanic. But you show your white sheets. So Devin don't get called a warrior even though he prevailed. And like I said before, this is an ongoing thing. Like I said, they always will find something wrong with a black fighter, especially if he's dominant. They did it to Andre Ward. They did it to Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? They 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 did it to Lennox Lewis. They did it to you know what I'm saying? They and I don't want to hear this stuff about oh um you know we didn't like Floyd because he talked too much, but you didn't. But you always was bashing Andre Ward. Oh, Andre Ward can't sell no tickets. It's funny, like I say, people love to keep track of how many tickets brothers sell. But like I said before, wasn't nobody saying nothing with Tyson Fury before he fought Deontay Wilder, who was selling two, three thousand tickets when he'd be fighting in Las Vegas. And I know for a fact that the promotional companies would be begging people to come promote the fight. Excuse me, to come uh, cover the fight. I didn't even ask to, to cover you know, a Tyson Fury fight and, and somebody hit me up asking, did I want to come cover the fight? And I was like, I can't make it. Okay. So, like I said, man, it's, it's just an ongoing thing. 
Don't come here saying that, hey, town, this this is just divisive. We're all this just divides us. We're all one. No, we're not. You constantly show that there is no black and brown alliance. There is no black and Asian alliance. There is no black and whatever other kind of not black that you are. They definitely ain't no black and black and white alliance. So please just stop it. It always going to be how it is because at the end of the day, you see blacks as community property. Like I said, everybody's allowed to represent where they from and, and, and what race they are. But if a black person does it, you try to shame a black person. Like I said, you had these Mexican fighters. A lot of them ain't even born in Mexico, but it's okay for them to, you know, to come out, you know, in Mexican colors, you know, and have have the Mexican flag, even though they born in the States or they live in the States. But let a black dude have a flag of Africa, the original land of the man and not the white man, the brother man, and definitely not the other kind of man. Dead people will be hollering, you're anti-American and all that kind of stuff. They always try to change the rules for us. They always try to come up with these falsehoods and narratives for us. Like I said, at the end of the day, you guys are cornballs. You guys are frauds. And it need to be said. Like I said, the way Devin Haney was treated was disgusting. Like I said, do not try to say it was what he said about Lomacheco. Like I said, why do you care? Because like I said before, you didn't have the same energy. Like I said, when people was making references to blacks. Y'all wasn't that y'all y'all Hispanics wasn't mad. Y'all Mexicans wasn't mad when Oscar De La Hoya said that stuff about Al Heyman. Why wasn't y'all outraged about that? Why wasn't y'all calling Oscar De La Hoya out about that? Why wasn't y'all calling out Mikey Garcia about the donkey comb stuff? Even though shout out to Mikey Garcia, he apologized. But y'all was saying he don't have to apologize. Oh, we're just crying. You, Oh, you guys are, are, are sensitive. Punks. A lot of y'all is punks. But soon as somebody say something about y'all, then here y'all come. Here y'all come crying on my channel. Here y'all here y'all come going to that other cornball. You know? I, I, I mean, for real. Y'all run and then y'all run to these anti black channels that happen to be ran by black people because you love to see black people put down other black people and attack black channels. It, when I do it, it's for a reason. It's for them being off code. I don't do it because I want views from people that are not black. No, I'm, I don't coon on my channel. And I don't criticize black fighters and big up non-black fighters so you guys can come give me your, you know, virtual pat on the backs because I don't need them, don't want them, and 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 wish not to have them under any circumstances. Because I told you I'm not going to compromise my channel to get views. So once again, you go fuck yourselves. Like I said before, I, I constantly see this. Like I said, forever trying to race shame a black person if he supports fighters because they black but if a dude say hey mikey garcia i'm rooting for mikey garcia i'm rooting for david benavides because there's they, they mexican or you know i'm rooting for manny pacquiao because he's asian because he's uh filipino hey i give all the props to the world but if i say hey i'm rooting for you know errol spitz you know over manny pacquiao which i am even though a lot of y'all was rooting for Manny Pacquiao to beat Keith Thurman, a lot of y'all Negroes, y'all was cooning. Nah, I didn't go against the grain. I was rooting for Keith Thurman. But if a black person say, hey, I'm rooting for someone. Oh, here you go. Hey, you can't do that. I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. I don't have to ask your permission, especially somebody that's not black. Where you get off telling me that I can't support my own, but you can support your own. And don't say it's a difference. But you want to try to pull that race shit. Like I said, once again, there's no such thing as reverse racism. If you root for Manny Pacquiao because he Asian or Mikey Garcia because he Mexican or whatever, you're being you're showing a bias. Right? No, you only say that with us. 
So don't try to so don't try to race shame me. You can't do that with me. Keep y'all asses on them coon channels. This your boy Tell Biz. I'm out.